Hello everyone. <sighs> Today, also if I'm like super red, I just did a workout. Happy New Year. New Year to me. Um, anyways, <laughs> today we're going to talk about all of the books on my TBR going into 2024 so that we can revisit this at the end of the year and see if we've read any of them. I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be pretty disappointing um, because my reading goal this year is 100 books. Anyone know how many I have? We have this stack, this stack, that stack, that stack, this stack, this stack, and this stack. I have 118 books on my physical TBR. It goes without saying that I'm on a book buying ban now. After getting some gift cards for Christmas, I got everything I wanted that I could think of. And I feel like I have so much to read that when I go to the bookstore, I don't even want anything anymore, which is good. That's great. Um, it's the only time I ever want to get anything is when I see a book on TikTok, obviously. And I'm like, wow, that actually looks really good. Um, but yeah, definitely going on book buying ban because I think that this year, which I love, go get that book, girl. If you see something you want, you freaking get it, okay? And that was me. I just, this was my year of getting into reading. And so everything that I saw that I was like, wow, that looks really good, I would get it. But I feel like when I like get a big book haul at one time, if I don't read it in a certain amount of time after it's been bought, I forget about it. And then I don't care because there's something about being like, oh, I want to read that. Let's go get it. And then let's read it is so much better it just hits different I don't know how to explain it it's like going and getting a book to read is so much better than getting it off your shelf I don't know if it just like is more of a I don't know like it makes you think that I don't know I don't know why I do that and I know I'm not the only one so I'm with you girl um we have a nice Starbucks drink to get us through this and we're just gonna rapid fire I'll give you a short like this is if I think I'm going to get to it or not, but I'm not going to go into like what these books are really about. We're just going to rapid fire how many we have. So let we have The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy. I really need to get to this. I really hope that I get to it soon. The Poppy War. Very recently got this. I've heard great things about this trilogy. I only bought the one so we can see if we like it. Definitely want to read it soon. The Stars Are Dying. I got this because I it was just like an impulsive buy from TikTok and I was like, oh, I should go get it. Sorry. The aesthetic is everything. I just don't know how the actual story is going to be. So I don't know. I really want to like it. I want to get to it. Shatter Me. I'm not really sure. I bought the book, the first book so I could try it out and see if I like it. I just have a feeling that it's going to give like the selection vibes, like just really young, something that I'm not really into anymore. But people have told me that it is worth it. So we'll see. Red Rising, definitely high up on my TBR. I need to get to this this year. I've been wanting to get to it so much and I just never did. And I really need to get to it because I really think that I'm going to like it. I think I can be a sci-fi girly. Darker Shade of Magic, um, really want to get to this. I will say though that I read Vicious and wasn't like I highly enjoyed it. I just don't know if it was something that like I would pick up something. Else. I don't know. This though I think is giving more fantasy. So I think that I still have high hopes for it. Next we have Lore. Definitely want to get to this. It's just giving Greek gods a great storyline from what I can tell. It's also very really, like hefty. I don't know why. It's like a nice book. And also Alexandra Bracken. We've all heard of her. I've heard of her since like high school being on booktube. Six of Crows. This is the year, okay? Sloan on Book Talk was like, you have to read this. I was like, please convince me. And she convinced me. So I I will be getting to that. I didn't, I didn't DNF it. I just like put it on pause because I couldn't get through it. A couple months ago, I tried and I just like couldn't get into the story. I think I was just in a slump. Next, we have A River Enchanted by Re Rebecca Ross. Definitely want to get to this because I love Divine Arrivals with all of my heart. And I'm very interested to see if I would like that duology. Next, we have Uprooted. Got this recently. I think it's going to give just a very different fantasy vibe than what I'm used to. I think there actually might be like some romance in it. I'm not really sure. Next, this is How You Lose the Time War. I've heard incredible things about this. And it's like life changing and it's so small. I mean, like why? Sorry, I have cat hair everywhere. Why would you not? I think there's like some time travel aspect. It sounds so good. It sounds amazing. 
Dreams Lie Beneath. I got this the other day. I saw it. It was like the only one. I never seen this in store. Again, Rebecca Ross. So I need to read it. And the aesthetic, like this one looks very up my alley as well. Next, Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. Definitely want to get to this. I was waiting until spring because I tried to read it. I, I was into it. It was giving cozy vibes. TJ Klune a little bit. Um, and then I was told it actually snows a lot. So I guess I could pick it up sometime soon. I think I'll do like a March, like a transitioning almost to spring next we have half a soul i was told that this is like a pride and prejudice but make it fantasy and the quotes from this book that i've seen people post look amazing so i really really want to get to that next we have under the whispering door definitely need to get to this because i loved house in the cerulean sea and i want to read everything that this man writes everything Ugh. next we have the just odd air um whenever it was like after fourth wing became popular the same person that kind of like first hyped it up was like this is even better so i got it and then of course i haven't read it yet so i really hope that i do i need something to like convince me to pick it up it's just one of those things like i said you get it but i have no intention on reading it anytime soon like it's not on your tbr for like asap and then it just sits there and then you lose interest and i hate that Next, we have Gilded by Marissa Meyer. I love the Lunar Chronicles, so I want to see if this would be any good. I don't know. I just picked it up. No idea. Next, A Heart So Fierce and Broken. I read The Curse of Dark and Lonely. This author, um, she wrote Defy the Night, which I just read, and I really loved that. And I've, re I've read the first one to this like years ago and then I just never picked this one up. It's like a Beauty and the Beast retelling. I don't know. Maybe I'll get back into it. It's there. I've just never read it in like years and years. That's been on my TBR for a long time. Next we have Small Favors. I read um, House of Salt and Sorrows. Loved that book. It was like 12 Dancing Princesses but make it dark. This is supposed to be like cottage core but make it dark which just sounds amazing. It's gonna be so fun to clean up, you guys. Next, we have these Violet Delights. Picked this up recently. I've just heard so many things about it for the longest time, and I was like, it's time. It, it's, like, at least give it a go, you know? Like, maybe I won't love it, but it's giving 1930s, like, or 20, I don't know, flapper girl era, but make it fantasy. I like, what more could you want? And, like, Romeo and Juliet, also, The Nightingale, I've had this. I got gifted this at the beginning of last year, and I haven't picked it up yet, but people have been hyping this up recently, and I know that everybody loves this author that gets into her. And I'm a historical fiction girly, so I really think that I'm going to like this. It's just a matter of, like, when am I going to pick it up? We talked about actually making it a book club pick, so maybe in the future, just not this month, because there's just so much going on with Crescent City, everything. Next, we have Fear the Flames. Um... I forgot her name. TK's Library. Somebody, somebody that I love on Bookstagram hyped this up. And I still really want to get to it because I really think it's going to be a nice, like, fantasy story with dragons. I think it'll be amazing. Next, we have For the Wolf and For the Throne. Um, still haven't got to this. It's a Red Riding Hood retelling. It's definitely a good winter fantasy, I would say. So maybe soon. I wouldn't be surprised though if for some reason I don't get to it, but I don't know. It's giving one dark window a little bit and it's just could just be because it's the same publisher. I don't know. Next we have the Library of Shadows. Um, I saw this on TikTok and then I went crazy because I couldn't find it. Like where I had saved it, I took a picture. I swear I took a picture. I saved the TikTok. Everything disappeared and then one day I just saw it on a table and I said, oh my gosh, and I got it. Still haven't read it. I need to get to this. I think it it looks so vibey. Next we have Nightweaver. This is like a Pirates of the Caribbean, Enemies to Lovers. Oh my god. This will be read in the summer. I think I just need it to be like peak vibes for me to read it. I just, oh, I love Pirates of the Caribbean, you know? Next we have Ledge. I plan on reading this this month as long as I have time um, because it's so wintry. The vibes look amazing. There's like a, a even a winged male, like a, a guy with bat wings. <laughs> What more could you ask for? Hello, Resand. Um, apparently, there's three, though. So, even if I don't get to it this month, like, I've got, got three of them to read. So, next, we have one for my enemy. This is a... I love Olive e. Blake. I really wanted to get to this before the end, the end of last year, and I never did. 
but it's giving like a nice fall vibe for some reason i think it's just because they're witches so i might not get to this till fall but i'm going to i have to because i love her writing ah. next we have vengeful i was gifted this i read vicious i actually did the audiobook i did like it so maybe i'll give it a go especially on like my audio version um but i've also heard people say that it felt like the first book times two so i just don't know i don't know if i'll get to it because it wasn't like the best thing ever but who knows next we have i'm not even gonna pick them up the outlander first four books that i have because outlander is coming to an end if you guys haven't read oh my god if you guys haven't watched outlander on stars oh my gosh it's on netflix as well like just not the most like recent episodes but i started that years ago my mother and my grandma got me hooked on it let me tell you it is so good. It's so good. If you just want like a time traveling fantasy vibes, she literally accidentally time travels back to the 1700s in Scotland and then is forced to marry this Scottish guy and he's hot as hell. What more could you want? If you are a like fantasy romance, enemies to lovers girly, you need to go watch that show right now. Right now. Anyways, it's almost done. We're almost coming to an end. Very sad. It's been on for years. So I got the books because I'm like, I I would give my soul to like relive watching that for the first time again. Oh my God. It's like my comfort show. I love it so much. Um, So now I want to read them because I'm like, maybe it'll like make me feel like I'm doing it again for the first time. Okay. Next we have Ruthless Vows. I'm literally reading this right now. So it's going to be off of this list very soon. Um, I'm already halfway. I'm eating it up. I'm eating it up. I knew that I would, but yeah. Next we have Scythe. I really want to get to this. This has been such a popular pick for a long time. It's giving dystopian. Really want to get to it. Next we have Crescent City Books 1 and 2. Also on my TBR this month. They will be off hopefully very soon. I honestly think, y'all, the audiobook for this is like $40. But sadly, I think I'm going to have to do it because I don't think that I can get through this book without literally listening to it and reading it at the same time. I'm gonna give it a go. I have it on my Kindle. I'm hoping maybe if I just try to read it, maybe it won't be as bad as everybody says it is, but I do have a hard time, like, when the world building's a little too much. So, yeah, but if you didn't know, there's YouTube videos out there, like, explaining the plot, explaining, like, the characters, like, all the world building, so I might even have to, like, watch some of that and just not get spoiled for the plot part. We shall see. But I really might have to just get the audiobook because I think it might help me retain it better. And then hopefully by the time we get to the second book, it'll be better. Anyways, next I have books one and two of Zodiac Academy. I've been wanting to get to this for so long and I need to do it. I need to pull the trigger so bad. I know that I'm going to be obsessed. Like, I feel like it's just one of those things that I will hyper fixate on. And I really, I think that's what's making me scared is I feel like if I start it, I'm just going to want to read the entire series all at one time. And then it's gonna like take up months of my life. But who knows? I might not. I don't know. We'll see. Next, I have What the River Knows. I've heard incredible things about this. I just picked this up the other day. I couldn't help myself because I never really saw it in stores for some reason. And I was like, we have, we have to. And the fact that like her and Rebecca Ross um, like have dedications to each other for their books, it's so cute. I'm sorry, my hair is like really pissing me off. Coffee break. Next we have Ashes and, <laughs> Ashes and the Star Cursed King. I've already started this, but then it was just not moving very fast and I was scared I was getting in a slump. So I put it down. Um, love the first book. I have heard that like the second book isn't as good, but I don't know. I love the character. So I'd love to keep going. I really need to just do it. Oh my God, you guys. The Priory of the Orange Tree. I don't know how the hell I'm going to get to this this year. It's so intimidating, but oh my God. Like just to say that I read this though would be such a flex. I And I really think I might like it. And I love the dragon. It's so pretty. Oh gosh. Has to be one of the prettiest books I have, but wow. Next we have Mistborn. This is the only Brandon Sanderson book that I have that I own. It's very floppy by the way. Um, But I want to get into his books this year. Everyone loves him. I feel like I'm just... I feel like I would love his stuff and I just haven't tried it yet. So I have to. So I got Miss Bourne. So I'm like, you have the book, so you need to do it in hopes that that'll make me do it. We'll see. 
I also might try the audiobook for that too because I think it is on the app that I use and I think that could also like get me into it you know next we have the phoenix king saw this on tiktok thought it sounded amazing it does seem very interesting and different something that i should just read so maybe if you've read this convince me please any of these honestly if you've read any of these please hype them up so that it'll convince me to do it next i have the hurricane wars i did start this and it's like a raylo inspired fantasy story and i will say like my friend read it and she said you can tell that like since it's going to be a series it is kind of like a setup which is totally fine um i do think i'm gonna like it but i honestly think i might wait until the second book comes out that way it's like more of a reason to read it you know what i mean because i think i'm gonna like it but now i'm just like not sure if i really want to spend the time on it now i don't know next we have kingdom of the feared I actually am still, I think I almost finished the second one in this trilogy, kind of put it down, and then I bought it again, or bought this to finish my trilogy, just so that I could pick this up. Um, if I do get to these, it's probably going to be, like, later in the year, to be honest, but uh, you also, like, don't necessarily have to finish those to pick this up, so I might end up just picking this up if it, like, speaks to me. It's so pretty, though. I'm hoping that it's good. I love Carrie Maniscalco so much i love stalking jack the ripper in all of those books so i really really want to like them next we're moving into romance i have the magnolia parks rest of the books except the new one that's coming out i read the first book and then i have daisy hates and the great undoing and then long way home i have all of those to read that i need to get to hopefully soon i really really want to get into these i loved never by her um, and I really think once I get to Daisy Hates, I'll probably start liking this world a little bit more is what a lot of people say. Not everyone, but some people like Daisy way more than Magnolia. Next, I have Addicted to You. Um, I bought this just because I think that I might like this story. And they're all on KU, so I don't even know why I bought this, to be honest. Um, but I definitely want to get into this. I think the found family sounds so good in this in these books. And that's something that you could just get really invested in. So hopefully soon next I have less last letter to your lover I did start this at some point yeah and then I stopped I watched this movie and I was so in love with it that I bought the book and then I never finished it so it was just one of those that I was so obsessed with that I was like I would literally read the book and then I did for a minute and then I didn't we have pack up the moon I started this as well and then put it down I'm like the queen of starting things and then putting them back down um, I just knew that this was going to be so sad and I had to just take a break. So when I want to cry again, I feel like this will be really good. But I also felt like it was just, uh, it was just one of those. It's like, a, it's the whole point, you know, like not like there's no like, oh, they, it's just sad. It's just sad. You know, there's no hope. There's no, um, it's just a grieving story basically. But yeah, next we have what the hex. I loved go hex yourself. This is the second book to that. Um, so I definitely think I'm going to pick this up around Halloween because the first one made me laugh so much. I loved it. Excuse me. Next we have Hook, Line, and Sinker. Um, I wanted to get into more Tessa Bailey in the summer and then of course I ran out of time and I actually put myself into a fantasy era. So all of the romances that I had ready for summer did not get read. So we'll see. Next we have Malibu Rising. Definitely want to get to this. I really tried to get to this on vacation and I actually did read a little bit of it. And then I put it down because I was reading other things at the same time. Really want to get to this though because I feel like it would be amazing. Next we have the American Roommate Experiment. Honestly, it doesn't seem like something that I would be into anymore. So I don't know if I'll read it. We'll see. I think it sounds good. Don't get me wrong. I'm just really not in my romance era anymore. So it takes a lot for me to want to read it. So if I don't read it this year, we'll probably end up unhauling it. But that's okay. Next we have It Happened One Summer. I do think that I would like this one a lot. I think that I love Tessa Bailey's books. I think they're just fun and they're, you know, they are what they are. She does it really well. She knows what she's doing. Next we have The Tattoo Artist, The Tattooist of Auschwitz. Um, got this like two years, a year or two ago. I don't know. Um, I need to get to it. It sounded really intriguing like I said I'm a historical fiction girly and I really need to get back into that I think this time of year is like really good for that too next we have love in the time of serial killers I got this 
also not this past Halloween but the one before so my goal was to read it this Halloween of course I never did um apparently the main character is giving Lorelai Gilmore which sounds amazing Ugh, I want to so bad but you know whatever next we have Throttle this is actually not mine this is my roommate's uh don't know that I'm gonna get to this so this is technically not like mine but we're, pu we're putting it on here anyways it's been sitting on my shelf I guess whatever um you deserve each other I've heard mixed things. I don't know. I've heard good things, mixed things. I think it's just been sitting there so long that I don't know when I'm going to get to it. I've had this since like 2021. So we'll see. Next we have Redeeming Love. I was gifted this. I really, really want to get to this. I love the movie. I really think that I would love to read, I forget who it's about in the Bible. I forget, but I would love to read, like, the actual, like, Bible story and then, like, read this. I think that would be interesting to see, like, how it was inspired exactly. Because <sighs> your girl, your girl just needs to read the Bible more in general, okay? I don't know why I felt the need to get uh, Southern on you there, but I did. Sorry. Okay. Love theoretically. I've heard good things. I need to, I know I need to just... I need to just do it. This is one that I actually would like. It would be higher on my list. I haven't read a ha Allie Hazelwood book at all. I know. I know. After I do, um, I, <laughs> I want to. I want to. I, I just want to. I don't know. I feel like her writing in like those books could be so cool because I read Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hugo. She's just, she's a queen. I just need to read all of it. Next we have Seven Year Slip. Definitely want to get to this. I loved, 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 um, the deadly romantics yes yes the undead romantics fuck I forget I don't know the love wager hmm, not sure not sure if I'll get to it to be honest I want to though it sounds fun the kiss quotient probably not probably not a witch's guide to fake dating a demon sounds so fun I literally started it and then again put it down but it sounds so it's just so cute and fun I really think that I'll get to that this Halloween hopefully Book lovers, yes, I need to, I need to do it. I need to. Something wilder, probably not, probably not. One person convinced me to read it, but then a thousand other people said that they didn't like it, and I was like, oh. Um, Just Between Us, yes, I want to get to this so bad. The, the leaves, though, are giving fall. Like, I feel like I'm just going to have to read it in, like, August, September, or something like that. Spanish Love Deception. I know a lot of people like it, but I'm going to have to say probably not I, I don't know forever interrupted yes want to get to that Mr. Wrong Number I started this one as well and it was like super fun fun concept so maybe two wrongs make a right I like this concept a lot I like the like fake dating in this so probably the Summer of Broken Rules, the vibes in this just seem so fun, but I just don't know if it's up my alley really, so we'll see. But the vibes look so vibey, so maybe. Maybe I'll just pick it up and see what happens. Meet Me at the Lake, um, probably not. I didn't love Every Summer After, to be honest, very much. Like, I did enjoy it, just not the end. And then from what I've heard of how this story goes, I have a feeling that I just won't like it. Portrait of a Scotsman. Um, this was like, I was just feeling my Bridgerton era. So if I get to that point again, probably. It sounds fun. Dream on, maybe. <laughs> Not really sure about it. Um, the concept sounds cool, but just, again, something I don't think that I'm really, it's just not my priority, you know? Buy a thread. I want to so bad. When I tell you I haven't read a Lucy's core book because they're so long, but I have heard that this is a great like work enemies to lovers. Like apparently the banter is really good and I did start it and I've already seen some of that and it still like sticks in my mind like how this story started. I still can tell you exactly how it happened. So that gives me high hopes to where I'm like okay if I do want a like fun romance I might finally give this a go. Um, so I'm keeping it because I want to like it so much want to next we have wretched um i read hooked the and this is a um wizard of oz dark romance like retelling i think it could be good i love it i'm just like blocking <laughs> um a touch of ruin not sure don't think so i read a touch of dark a touch of darkness and i think it was 
a good concept. I just wish there was a little bit more plot than smut. I just felt like there was really nothing going on that I cared about. Um, yeah. Any books? Ah! Ah! Oh. Tap, Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. Definitely want to get to this. Hopefully. The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. Definitely want to get to this. Super fun mystery. I'm pretty sure I actually read the, uh, did the audiobook of it of like half of it or something a long time ago and I am sad that I never finished it so I want to. The Hawthorne Legacy. Still haven't got to this. I've had this since like it came out so I really want to but I don't know if I will. We'll, we'll see. Meddling Kids. It's giving Scooby-Doo. It's giving Stranger Things. I really I want to give that a go. I think it sounds so fun. Um, Killers of a Certain Age. Try it. I started this and then put it down. Sounds really fun, but also like, not sure. Fairy Secret Society of Irregular Witches. I heard great things about this. I just didn't get the time to get into this. It's giving House in the Cerulean Sea a little bit though, so hopefully I can get to it. The House Across the Lake, of course. Definitely want to get to that. Rock, Paper, Scissors. Definitely want to get to this as well. I tried reading it and like, November and then I wanted to read Once, Brock, uh, Once Upon a Broken Heart instead so I had to put it down because I couldn't think about anything else except starting that. Um, if We Were Villains definitely need to get to this. I need to. I need to so bad. I don't know why I still have it. A Little Life. I started it like barely briefly like a year ago. I need to get to this. I know that it's gonna hurt but I, I just want to know. You know I want to know. I want to be in in on it. Peter Pan, I picked this up like a few days ago because I loved Never by Jessa Hastings and I know a lot of people were like you should definitely read like the original like classic um and so I want to because I've just never picked it up and like actually read it and I love Peter Pan. I'm very interested to see what the actual classic is. Next we have Circe. I started this when I was in Greece. <laughs> icon and of course I didn't finish it and I really want to I really love Cersei's character I just really need to I really need to get into it green lights um Cam gave this to me because he really wants me to read it I know it's a very popular book hopefully I'm just that that's just not my thing so we'll see in my dreams I hold a knife this one's giving pretty little liars but I've also had this one for a very long time so I have a feeling that it's just not going to be high enough on my priority to do. Okay, guys, we're nearing the end. If you don't care about manga, you it's okay for you to leave, okay? I understand that this is very niche. Not most people care. So the rest of this is going to be manga. I thank you for being here. If you want to stay, that's lovely. Um, not that I can tell you much about manga because I'm still, like, getting into it myself. Anyways. First, we have the seventh time loop. I actually am on the second one right now. It's just not in my hand. So this is the first one's representing the second one. So I've got three of these that I need to get to, but I'm trying. That one I'm hopefully getting through. Um, next, we have Apparently Delusioned Adventures Will Save the World. Um, it just looks so fun. You know, it looks really fun. So I grabbed it because I saw it and I said, that looks great. Next, I have Free Life Fantasy Online. It's giving VR. It's giving... Um, so, sword art online and I like found a bunch of them so I just kept getting them because I actually think it's something I would want to get into so we'll see next I have Demon Slayer I've had this for a while this is actually the anime that got me into watching anime so I got the first one just for like nostalgia honestly and in case I ever wanted to actually read them um but I love I love Demon Slayer it's just so fun and I love that that's what got me into all of this next I have Berserk Mm, don't know that I would love it but I did pick it up because I've heard good things and I'm sure Camden would like it if I don't next I have bleach also have heard incredible things about this it actually looks pretty fun I just haven't gotten into it yet and I know that bleach is like a whole thing next I have the duke of death and his maid I actually should have counted this so I guess we do have like 117 books it's fine um because I read the first one and now I have these I have up till four. Oh, five. Those are not in order. So I've got four more of these to read. I really enjoyed the first one. It was super fun. Next we have Creepy Cat. I totally meant to read this uh, around Halloween because like Creepy Cat, you know, but the cat is so cute. Like, are you kidding me? It's adorable. It's just like a little evil cat and it's so cute. 
and they just look so fun. Next we have Sailor Moon. I actually started these a while ago. I am like halfway through the first one. I don't know if maybe it's just because these are kind of long, you know? I don't know. Like these are definitely very, they're not short and sweet. And I think that's what like made it so hard to get into these. But I really want to. They're so iconic. Love them. Next I have Spy Family. I have two of them. Um, I was gifted these so that I could get into it. But I'm just like not all that intrigued by this one. We'll see. Next, I have Witch and the Beast. Um, Camden's of Camden is obsessed with these. They're like very fall vibes. The art is so pretty in these, and so I have one and two from him. So technically, this isn't even like my TBR. It's I'm just borrowing them. Um, oh my gosh, my leg! I'm just borrowing them. Um, but I want to get to them. I think they sound so fun. But anyways, that. That is my 2024 physical TBR, so stay tuned. Hopefully, we get through most of this. I might end up just unhauling some of it by the end of the year for sure. Um, a, just to have more room, and B, just because I'm not in my romance era anymore, and that is fine. <sighs> yeah, so let me know down below what your physical TBR is looking like currently. Um, yeah, I hope I made you feel a little bit better about that number because I've got a lot, but that's okay. I will talk to you guys next time.